Romans chapter 17, that's our reading for this morning. I appreciate you joining me. Let's, let's pick up at verse one. It says, Jesus spoke these things and lifting up his eyes to heaven, he said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that the son may glorify you. Even as you have gave him authority over all flesh, that to all whom you have given him, he may give eternal life. This is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God in Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I glorified you on the earth, having accomplished the work which you have given me to do. Now, Father, glorify me together with yourself with the glory which I had with you before the world was. I have manifested your name to the men whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours and you gave them to me and they have kept your word. Now they have come to know that everything received them and truly understand that I came forth from you. They believe that you sent me. I ask on their behalf. I do not ask on behalf of the world, but of those whom you've given me, for they are yours. And all things that are mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been, and I have been glorified in thee. I am no longer in the world, and yet they themselves are in the world. And I come to you, Holy Father, keep them in your name the name which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are. While I was with them, I was keeping them in your name, which you have given me. And I guarded them, and not one of them perished, but the son of perdition, so that the scripture would be fulfilled. But now I come to you, and these things I speak in the world, so that they may have joy made full in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but to keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is true. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. For their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they themselves also may be sanctified in truth. Jesus wants what's best. For those who belong to him. That, 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 that's obvious here. Jesus recognized that he would be leaving these men, those whom he had appointed to, to go into the world and to, and to, to spread the gospel of, of Jesus Christ. He knew what they were up against because he experienced it. He knows what we're up against. Jesus understands what it's like to be in this world, but not of this world. And he prays for them. He prays for their sanctification, this idea of being set apart from the world, holy to him, to God, and, and his purposes. And the way that one is ultimately sanctified, set apart for that purpose, is through truth. And Jesus says in verse 17, sanctify them in the truth. And then he says this, your word is true. We live in a world, we live in a culture where they would have us to believe that truth is, is relative, that truth is um, different for different people. But Jesus here, he argues for something far different than that. And he tells us that there is truth. In fact, there is absolute truth. And I, I find that so comforting to know that truth does exist and that truth will set us free from our sins. Truth is powerful and something we can lean on. It's something that we can come back to. There's stability in knowing that there is absolute truth. And so here's my takeaway. And it's very, very simple, but it's something that we must teach our children. We must teach our nieces and nephews and our grandchildren. God's word is absolute truth. Pray with me. Father, thank you for this reminder. Your word is true. Your truth, absolute truth. Father, it sets us free from our sins. Teaches us how to live, how to love, how to conduct ourselves, things to stay clear of, how to help, how to be there for one another. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for truth. Be with us today. Continue to be with our sister Jan, be with Tom as he cares for her, be with Betty, be with Sandy, be with Clarice. Father, we ask that you would be with our brother Donnie. Father, we pray that your will be done, certainly. If it be your will, Father, that his transplant would come soon. 
Bless us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.